Are we to be a great, proud nation, or are we to be a colony of a new United States of Europe? And I tell you what, if we're not prepared to stand up and fight, it'll be the latter. So I'm prepared to stand up and fight. These people are prepared to stand up and fight. Are you prepared to stand up and fight? Good. Because we're going to need you. Hello. Yes, that's right. Nigel Farage must take the fight to the enemy. Not form electoral packs with them, Nigel. You don't form electoral packs with your enemy. And the Conservatives are the enemy. They are the enemy of Britain. Just like Bolshe Trotsky, Corbyn's Labour Party. And they're wet lib dems or whatever you want to call them right they're the enemies of britain you don't form electoral packs with your enemy nigel i hope the penny has now dropped the tories corbyn's bolshe trotsky labor party the lib dems all suffer from self-hate and white guilt all of them right give it take one or two maybe but by and large, most of them, if not all of them, suffer from white guilt and self-hate. They would rather, the Tories as an example, they would rather die than form an alliance with someone deemed a racist, which you are now. I know you're not, but you're now a racist. You're deemed a racist. Boris Johnson and the Tory party would rather die than form an alliance with you. Has the penny dropped yet, Nigel? But all the same, all the same, you're in for a fight of your political career now, and you know you are, right? Hope not hate hasn't started on the Brexit party yet, so get ready for that, right? That's going to be interesting. But anyway, you've just watched a short 30-second speech of Nigel Farage. I think it's in Newport today, is it? Correct me if I'm wrong. And it really is inspiring. Good on you, Nigel. You're a patriot. You love your country. You're not in this for ego or money or self you're in it because you love britain you love your country right it's a pity certain british nationalists weren't doing the same but that's another video in itself uh, you talk about you know uh fighting to stop britain becoming a colony of the united states of europe we've got a fight and we've got a fight on our hands and you're right you're right nigel you're spot on you're a good man right what you've got to do, Nigel, you've got to take this fight alone. When I say alone, you and the Brexit party and the good people around you, you've got to take it to the Tories. They are treacherous swines, Nigel. Like I pointed out yesterday, selling out white Rhodesia, turning their back on white South Africa. And I see them two clowns, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, uh, visiting uh, South Africa and they're going to address uh, gender violence against women. What about the thousands of white uh, African farmers, men, women and children that have been murdered since the ANC took power? How about addressing South Africa now is not only a basket case, it's the child rape capital of the world, right? It's falling apart. I hope you made your Hanny Lennox, Bono and all the rest of you lot, I hope you're happy with what you've achieved. You're responsible for mass murder, black and white. That's what you're responsible for. And you, Harry, you're just a joke. Once the Queen dies, God bless her, that's the end of the royal family. Forget it. See, what the royal family are trying to do now, they're embracing the trash culture to be liked and to survive, but that's going to be their actual downfall. But that's another video in itself. You've got to take the fight to the enemy now, which is the Conservative Party, Nigel. Right? You have to take the fight to them now. You have to go this alone. And you know what? You've said about uh, if the Tories don't form some electoral pact with the Brexit party and the uh, Trotsky, Bolshe, Corbyn's Labour party in, the Tories have only got themselves to blame. You know, to be honest, we could do with Jeremy Corbyn in power. We could do with some Weimar Republic style chaos and madness let's get back to the 70s three day week power cuts bins not being emptied and so on and so on that's what we need right we want corbyn in power i want to vote for him right that's who we want in number 10 
right? You're learning in Nigel, aren't you? I'm sure you are. And you've got some good people about you. But like I've said, hope not hate hasn't started on the Brexit party yet. So get ready for that, you know. But you're in a fight of your political career, Nigel. You're a good man. You're up for it. And so am I. I'll do all I can to help. I'll do these videos and whatever else I can, right? And so should all good patriots around the country should do the same. Like I've said, it's a shame certain British nationalists who know better aren't helping. They're just sitting on uh, Twitter or wherever, just spouting nonsense, you know, but whatever. Like I've said, that's another video in itself. You've got to take the fight to the enemy, Nigel Farage. The Tories are not your friend, right? Trust me, they're not, right? They are the enemy. You don't form electoral pacts with your enemy. You beat them. That's what you do. You beat them to death and you take power, Nigel. And that's what you're going to have to do. Not literally, but you're going to have to beat the Tories to death and all the rest of the traitors. And you've got to prepare yourself now for a political career to take power. Because Brexit is not happening, right? I don't believe it is. I may be wrong. Don't take my word for it. But if it doesn't happen, Nigel... You're in for a fight of your political career, and I believe you're up for it. But the only way Brexit's ever going to be delivered, or we're going to save our beloved Great Britain, is by you taking power in this country. And you can do it. You've got millions and millions of people behind you, right? You just got to get in there, right? Be prepared for what's going to be thrown at you, because you've seen nothing here. Okay, bye.